I'm pleased to be joined by USC quarterback Caleb Williams. Caleb, how you doing, man? Pretty good. Pretty good. I want to start with this. You know where I'm from. How hard was it to, for you to leave Oklahoma? Um, it was probably one of the toughest things I've had to do. Um, other than having to sit, sit for six weeks. Um, but other than that, it was, it was, it was really tough. Um, I almost stayed not for the coaches, not for anything like that, but for the guys that, you know, I helped or, um, the guys that, you know, was there or came in with me. Um, I, I almost stayed for them just because, um, those are my guys. I've you know been in battle, been in war with them for, for a year now. So, uh, or then it was for a year. So it was, it was a really tough moment. Um, but I had to make a decision, and I ended up choosing here. Feels like since July 4, 2020, you first made your announcement to commit high school, you have had such notoriety and fame following you around. Have you been able to deal with this constant pressure and really people getting at you from all angles? I got to believe your mentions are just stupid. Yeah. Um, I deal with it. Um, one, I, I, I normally just kind of shove the negativity to the side. Um, it's the easiest way. Just don't deal with it. Um, and then two, uh, you know, when things do bother me or you have a tough game and, you know, you might see something um, because, like I said, social media is everywhere. Everybody's always on social media. And um, most times it's negative when you lose. So, um, yeah, so I, 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 I try not to deal with it and I normally push it aside. But if it ever gets to me, I have a support system at home. Um, or the coaches here or anybody like that, my friends, my brothers um, that support me. So um, get through that really easily, just just for a simple fact of them, because without them, I wouldn't be able to. It would bother me or anything like that. So, um, you know, support system um, and just not dealing with it. You went from the frying pan into the fire as a true freshman at OU, right? Very fast. So what is it that you are looking to grow and work on going into 2022 that you want to eliminate from 2021? Um, I'd say, um, I want to complete the ball more. My, my completion percentage is quick, easy passes. Uh, I'm not trying to, you know, you know, I had a couple of stupid freshman moments, I'd say, um, and, and not trying to have any of those where, you know, I do something dumb where I could have just thrown the ball out of bounds, uh, live to fight another day, um, or anything like that. So, um, those moments, just stupid freshman moments. And then, um, just progressing within the offense, learning more, um, you know, learning more about the, the playbook and how certain runs, what they're good against, what they're not good against, um, uh, what, what certain pass plays are, are good against, what certain quick games are good against, um, and, and learning my opponents better. How have you and coach Riley been able to implement this offense with a bunch of guys, well, Mario Williams, not included, who haven't been a part of it? Um, we, uh, it's been, it's actually been really smooth. Uh, we have, I mean, we've drilled it, uh, with the coaches, um, in the film room, on the field, um, all the, all the player led player ran, um, um, workouts or, or, uh, seven on sevens or anything like that. So, uh, just kind of drilling it, getting reps. Uh, those are always the easiest ways, um, you know, watching film and, and, and getting some reps in, um, for sure the easiest ways. Uh, and then we got a bunch of smart guys um, on the team. So, you know, I can't wait to play with them and get out there on the field with them. What's the mood like uh, in South Central with folks knowing who you are and where you're coming from? Excitement. Um, not just excitement that I'm here, but excitement for the team. Um, everybody's been very excited every time anybody stops me. Uh, good luck this season. Uh, hope you all have a good season. Um, so it's it's been awesome. Have you heard from someone that, raised your eyebrows. Uh, like, for instance, if I heard from Dr. Dre that I want you to have a great season, it would mean something to me. But I don't know that that means something to you because I outdate you by about 15 years. So you're going to have to let me uh, Snoop Dogg. Oh, for Snoop, real? Yeah. Uh, Snoop and uh, PJ Tucker, uh, James Harden, a couple of people like that. It's been, it's been awesome. PJ let you in the shoe closet? No. No, but we did talk about it a little fast. I had to, I had to ask a few questions. So uh, we we talked a little about that, just joking around, or anything like that. But um, no, he didn't let me in his shoe closet. Not yet, at least. I'm gonna get a couple of them. <laughs> I'm saying, man, and wear them because yeah, that's what they for. Them. They're yeah. shoes. Yeah. It's interesting to me to know that so much of the OU staff that was there in 2021 is at SC. 
I wonder how that has played uh, across, well, the conference from guys that you've heard from. Do they expect to see what you were capable of and win in 11 games last year, this year? Um, we're not necessarily focused. Like, obviously, everybody wants to win every game. Um, you know, there's a lot of excitement with the new coaches and new players. We have like 47 new players or something like that on the roster. So um, there's a lot of excitement behind that. But we are hugely focused on winning the moment um, and, and choosing discipline over default. Um, and that's, that's, you know, you choose discipline over, you choose a discipline over default, which means that you're choosing to win the moment and not focusing on what you can't control. Um, you know, focusing on, you know, game 12 when we're not even through fall camp. Um, and so, you know, we want to win every game, uh, every game possible that we have uh, every time we step on the field because that's what we work so hard for. But like I said, we're focused on winning the moment, winning fall camp right now and then going into that first game versus Rice. USC quarterback Caleb Williams, thank you so much for taking time, sir. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. And remember, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos on the number one ranked show YouTube channel.